Hey guys, it's Gavin here from Walsh of Fadaway. I hope you're well. Looking to do a goodbye jiggle of the old arms, okay? So if you're struggling with sort of flappy arms, you know, that bingo wing type thing, we're looking to try and tone them up a bit, try and make that skin a bit tighter, try and reduce some of that wobble there for you. Anyway, I hope you're well. If you're watching this, we've got a couple of minutes. Of course you're watching this. You've <laughs> you're watching me right now. But uh, I'm going to get cracking in about two minutes. So I said we'll start at 12 o'clock. So it's UK time. So we've got people all over the world watching these live videos. So we're getting cracking in a couple of minutes. So if you're watching, let me know that you can actually hear me because I've got a mic on. Sometimes these things do play up. So let me know you can hear me. Let me know where you're from, what you're up to, um, and how your 2000, well, 2019 is, is going so far. Are you uh, all fired up on the diet? Exercise is good. Are you doing these live workouts with me? So let me know. And let me know how you are. Now today is going to be a 10 minute workout. So we've got five exercises. We're going to do two rounds. Nice and simple. You do not need any equipment. So very, very simple. Just body weight exercises that you can do anywhere in a space just this big. Okay, so you've got no excuses. You can do this with me. So let me check the time. Okay, we've got about a minute until we get cracking. Now my daughter is ill today. So Gracie is just around the corner at the moment just watching telly. So one of those things with live workouts and things that happens in life. You never know what's going to happen. So she's over there at the moment. If she comes around, she's uh, a little bit under the weather. So she might be a bit grizzly if she does come around. So just to let you know, hopefully she's going to let me do 10 minutes with you and we can get a good workout in and get these arms toned up. All right. So our first exercise, if you're ready, come down with me. So we're going to do a bit of a sumo squat here. Drop it down. Arms out, all you're gonna do to begin with is just spin those arms. So in circles, just very small circles. Round and round we go. No time on this one. Because we're just warming up. We're not, not going all out just yet, okay. Loosen up a touch. Get those joints ready for, for the work. Make sure we're primed and we can go into these exercises without any issues. That's the plan anyway. All right, we're staying down here. So we're going to wet the legs a bit. And if you did join me yesterday, I hope those legs are feeling okay. My buns are feeling a little bit tender today, I'll be honest. All right, from there. Okay, all we're going to do is from here, reach up, overhead, back down. Very simple. So staying in that squat position, butt push back, head up. Breathe in, breathe it out. Here we go. Control the breathing. Now, depending on what sort of exercise you've done over the last few days, you might feel a little bit of burn in the shoulders, or maybe you've just been, been slacking, and this is hurting. <laughs> anyway, so if this is feeling a little bit, a bit of a challenge, then the rest of this routine should be, should be fun, should be interesting for you. All right, from there, shake it out a little bit. It's gonna go out, so palms are down, palms in. Palms down, palms in, so just got a little spin. Control, and as you bring your arms back, try and squeeze your shoulder blades back to the middle. Out and back in. All right, so loosen up. All right, this is the plan. We're gonna actually go into this now. We're going back on those circles, a little bit quicker, a bit more control, and I'm gonna set my timer up. We're gonna do a minute on each exercise. Maybe I'll do 50-10, just to give you a little bit of a, of a demo. All right, so I should have set my timer up before starting the workout. That would have been sensible, wouldn't it? All right, so one minute on the clock, and we're going to get cracking in 10 seconds. So get yourself down in position. I'm going with those circles again, and I'm going to move on. So we're going to go into the workout now. Okay, arms out. Stay low. Here we go. You can speed up a touch again. Move it. It's looking good. All right, I want you to keep going. I've got a light on top of the camera and obviously the battery's going, so it's flashing. So you just keep going. Don't stop. I'm going to turn that off. Apologies for that if it was flickering for you. I'm back in with you though. All right, we're good to go. So let's keep it moving. Now remember, if you just jump in this or you're catching the replay, Make sure you set the live notifications to on, and then you're gonna get all these live workouts with me. Whether you can do them live or you do them later on, it's absolutely not a problem, okay? As long as you get your workout in, you get it done. Whew. 
here we go. All right, next up, I'm gonna get the 10 second rest, just enough time to give me, or give me time to do that demo. So feet just wider than the mat, or a little bit wider than the shoulder part. Put your hands down, you're gonna walk it forward into that high plank position, and then you're gonna walk it back. All right, we're good to go. So let's do this. So walk it out. You can bend the knees a little bit if you need to. Depends on your flexibility, back up top. And we're gonna speed it up from there. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, you don't even have to come up. I recommend just going out, back in, back out. Controlling the breathing. I'm gonna test the flexibility of your hamstrings. We've got 20 seconds left here. Walk it out in that high plank position, abs tight. Keep coming. We have 12 seconds left. Now this is a short workout today. So it means you've got to give it your best effort. So every time we do the work here, best effort is what I want. If you do need a break at any point, that's absolutely fine. Give yourself that three second countdown and then jump back in. Next up, push-ups. Now if you can't do push-ups on the ground, I recommend grabbing a chair, sofa, coffee table, even the kitchen side. Depends where you are on your fitness journey. So I'm gonna jump down to the ground. What I don't like is people doing them on the knees. You know why? Because your core never learns what it should be doing. So here we go, nice and controlled. Breathe it in, breathe it out. And I should also point out, if you're doing it with a mat in front of you, hands don't go on the mat. Get your hands wider. You'll find it much more easier, or at least your technique will be better. So I'll show you. So you keep going, you can look up at the camera, at the phone. If you have your hands too tight, it makes it very difficult to get into that push-up position. Hands go wide, and you can actually come down lower. And if you start up the top from a table or a chair, and then eventually your core will figure out what it should be doing, and you'll be able to do some push-ups. All right, we've got a few more seconds. Nicely controlled, a little pause at the top. I'm gonna go one extra. There we go. I went back up, all right. Next up, ISO curls. So ISO curls is a bicep curl, but we haven't got a bar, we haven't got any weight. So what we're gonna do is tense up as hard as you can. I'm actually gonna start the timer now. Really tense those muscles. So not just going through the motions, just having your arms up like, ooh. Actually squeeze the muscles as hard as you can. Looks easy, but you know, 30, 40 seconds in, if you're really squeezing, that's gonna to be tough. Who we got over here? Is that Candice, hello Candice, how are you? Hope you're well. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. All right, so definitely starting to feel this. Very easy just to let it fade, that squeeze, but make sure you hold it strong. Come on, keep going, keep going. Time check for you. Five seconds, five seconds, come on. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax, ease it off. All right, going down to the next exercise. Coffee table, chair, if you need to. I'm going on the ground, it's a walking plank. So you're gonna go from the high plank down into the low plank. So I'll show you in our 10 seconds here. So you're in the high plank, nice straight line from the ankle up to the shoulders. You're gonna drop it down gently into the low plank, come back up, okay? Simple as that. All right, off we go. So we're here, feet a little bit wide if your balance is a little iffy. Controlled movement, abs pulled in. Try to squeeze the butt cheeks a little bit. This is the tempo. Make sure that you're not humping the ground. It's never a good look, okay? And make sure that your butt isn't up in the air like this as well. That's one of the things that our bodies want to do when it gets tough on the plank. Butt goes right up in the air trying to make it easier for the body, especially the shoulders. All right, we haven't got long left, 15 seconds. And that's the end of round one. So come on, stay with me. Big effort, seven seconds left. Three, two, one, boom, there we go. Back up on your feet, straight in. So we've got that 10 second rest, arm circle, so. Round two, here we go. Get low, see more squat, pushing those knees out to the side. Time check, we're on. So, I'm gonna flip this in reverse this time round. Picking up the pace a little bit. 
getting those shoulders working. Come on. Now, if you're just joining in, make sure you say hello. Pop a like down there. Make sure you share it. So if you know anybody who really needs these workouts, you know, your friends, family, and, you know, maybe they can't get to a gym or they just prefer to exercise at home, give it a share as well. Wow, oh, yep, I'm burning up now. Definitely burning up. So about 15 seconds to go. I'm slacking. Come on. Wow, oh, yep, big circles down towards the back there. Burn. Woo, enjoying this. Wow, my shoulders are definitely burning up there. All right, back on the inchworm. So feet just wide in shoulder width. We've got a few seconds and then straight into this inchworm. Walk it out, nice and gentle. Come up onto the feet if you need to, get that little breather back out. So this is what we're after. Walk it out, walk it out. High plank position, pause. Walk it back in, walk back out. If you need to, you can come up to the top. Knees slightly bent as you bring yourself back. Here we go. We're having a great time. Keep coming, keep coming. See how many reps we can bang out in this time. Let's keep on it. Big effort. Remember what I said earlier, best effort. Nearly done, about eight seconds left. And done, voila. All right, so next up, down to the ground again, or coffee table, kitchen side, press ups. So here we go, give yourself a quick breather and come and join me. So good control on these, remember, arms wide, down, breathe it out. That's what we're looking for. Now this is gonna get a little tasty now because the arms are gonna be fatiguing. And actually my legs are trembling from yesterday's workout. Good, breathe it out. Try and control that tempo. Yeah, yesterday I did the leg workout with you guys, and then I did basketball in the evening. Breathe it out. See, I'm struggling a little bit here. I've got 10 seconds. Control, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. I should also say, watch your head on that as well. I kind of feel my head was starting to look down towards the ground. So we want to keep it up slightly. So we've got a level across the back, shoulders, hips, all the way down to the toes. Next up, so those ISO curls. So it gives yourself a bit of a rest, but remember, pump these guns up. Tense them for all they're worth. Good chance to catch your breath. But tense, tense, tense. And let's go through the motions here. Really, you should be tensing as much as you possibly can. So really squeeze. Come on. Don't let up. As your arms get tired, that contraction starts to fade. You need to pull it back in. So here, it's like top of the bicep curl. Tensed. Come on, hold tight. We're nearly there. One more exercise after this. We've got that walking plank. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't let it go now. Hold it. Oh yeah. All right, good job, good job. Shake it out. Last exercise, walking planks. So come and join me on the mat once more. High to low. If you need to, coffee table, kitchen side, Sofa, up to you. Otherwise, down on the ground, control the tempo, down low, up to the high plank. So we're walking along with our arms and hands. Good control. As you come up, try and get your hands under the shoulders or thereabouts. What you don't want is to be over here, okay? Not unless you want to get super advanced with it. Make sure you can walk before you can run. And get good technique as well. All right, we've got 15 seconds, just under. All right, so big effort to finish. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. So that is a nice little arm workout, trying to get rid of some of that jiggle under the arms there, around the shoulders, biceps, tone you up a bit, make sure you look good at a nice short sleeve top. You know what I'm talking about. And that was an absolute pleasure. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you're following along, give me a comment below. Let me know how it went. And if you have any other comments, any questions, pop them down below. I'm more than happy to help. I'll jump on the comments now and later on because I know a lot of people won't be watching this live. So whenever you watch it, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you for another live workout on Monday. So same time, 12 o'clock UK time. You can work that out wherever you are. Okay, but enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.